good morning my dear students i hope you all are doing good children today we are going to start our new chapter does it look the same chapter number 5 in this chapter we will understand what is symmetry line of symmetry and some symmetrical figures and shapes so let's start what is symmetry images which can be divided into identical halves are called symmetrical the images that cannot be divided into identical halves are asymmetrical look at this figure the line of the pole is the line of symmetry lines of symmetry can be vertical horizontal or diagonal now what is line of symmetry the line of symmetry can be defined as the axis or imaginary line that passes through the center of the shape or object and divides it into identical halves in this figure the folding line divided the butterfly into two identical parts such a figure is known as symmetrical figure and this line is known as axis of symmetry when a figure is divided by a line into two parts which fit exactly over each other the figure is said to be symmetrical with respect to that line these are some more examples of symmetrical figures here the dotted line represent the axis of symmetry if this figure is folded along the dotted line then the two parts fits exactly on each other similarly if it folded along this dotted line the two parts again fits exactly on each other hence this figure has four axes of symmetry in the same manner a rectangle has two axes of symmetry and a square has four axes of symmetry a circle is symmetrical about its diameter we know that there are infinite diameters of circle thus a circle has infinite number of axes of symmetry if we fold this triangle along the given line the two parts form do not fit exactly over each other this type of figure is known as an asymmetrical figure thus a figure which cannot be divided by a line into two parts which fit exactly over each other is known as an asymmetrical figure now look at these alphabets letter a has a vertical line of symmetry letter b has a horizontal line of symmetry in the same manner letter c letter d and e the letter f does not have a line of symmetry there is no way to fold letter f so we say that letter f is not a symmetrical letter letter h has two lines of symmetry horizontal as well as vertical so shapes letters can all have lines of symmetry but not every shape and letter has a line of symmetry remember if you can fold it and half and have a match it's symmetrical now look at these shapes first one is isosceles triangle a isosceles triangle has one line of symmetry a rectangle has two lines of symmetry a equilateral triangle has three lines of symmetry as all three sides are equal a square has four lines of symmetry a parallelogram has no line of symmetry because two parts form do not fix exactly over each other and a circle has infinite line of symmetry now 
fill in the blanks. First one is a kite has dash line of symmetry. A kite has one line of symmetry. Number two, a parallelogram has dash line of symmetry. A parallelogram has no line of symmetry. Third one is the dash of symmetry is also called as axis of symmetry. So the answer is line. The line of symmetry is also called as axis of symmetry. Number four, a dash has infinite lines of symmetry. A circle has infinite lines of symmetry. Fifth one is a regular pentagon has dash lines of symmetry. A regular pentagon has five lines of symmetry. Sixth one is a scalene triangle has dash lines of symmetry. A scalene triangle has no lines of symmetry. Now number seven, letter M has dash line of symmetry. Letter M has one line of symmetry or we can say letter M has vertical line of symmetry. My dear children, I hope you all have understood what is symmetry and symmetrical figures and shapes. Now do all the questions given in PDF by yourself in your math notebook. Thank you. Take care of your health. God bless you all.